I guess you figured out that I ended up in a project today, didn't you? Got up this morning to fix my tea. Roaches. Roaches, roaches, roaches. I've been treating them with this stuff. I'm on a budget, so I bought this at the local big box store. You know, the one that used to have the smiley face, but now they have some sort of flower thing. Ant, roach, and spider killer. Controls for up to six months. Does not, does not control for six minutes. Mm-hmm. It does not work at all. It kills them instantly if you saturate it. But it says don't saturate. Don't allow it to puddle. And don't leave surfaces wet. It's useless. And I thought it's all I had. Until I found this. This is the Raid Multi-Insect Kills Ants, Spiders, Roaches, and Flies. Flies. No lingering odor, indoor and outdoor. That over there is for indoor only. Well, I am out here in the woods. And I do get a lot of bugs outside. But I've been doing real good about keeping bugs out of the inside. I don't leave food scraps out. I vacuum up my crumbs all the time. I wash the dishes as soon as I've finished using them. I don't leave food out on the counters. I keep the trash taken out every day. So something's happening and I gotta find out what. And in the meantime, we're gonna do what we can to make sure this is applied everywhere. By golly. I found something interesting today. OxyClean. My OxyClean went rogue on me. That's a sign of moisture under the counter. Mm -hmm. That's okay. It's a project that leads to another project, leads to another project, and I'm sure it needs to be fixed. So we'll just do that. Mm -hmm. You seen that? Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that interesting? I wonder if it's still usable. You think I could still use it? Chip off a little bit? Ah, <gasps> done did. You know, it's very important to check your drawers when you pull them out. Look for all kinds of signs of, uh, of, um, foreign matter. Because the slightest little drip will show up in your drawers. I could pretty well bet it's going to be very difficult for me to get back up. I'm surprised at how clean it still is then. Cat food. We'll put it over on the bed. The settee. The bed's in the bedroom. This is the sofa. It just happens to be a twin size bed. Now here is a mouse trap. We needed these in Ehrenberg. We were camped on the water, Colorado River, right on the water, kind of in the bushes too. And we got a mouse just about every day. Oh. The plastic one here, it's got the red thing on it. It's still a victor. It's not worth shit. It's not worth a damn. Yeah, it just kind of hurt the mouse and let them limp off lane. It's terrible. And then uh, four brand new ones haven't even been opened. 
Always be prepared. Uh, more cat food. Isn't that funny? I've got cat food and mouse traps in the same spot. You'd think they'd work together. Okay, that's a, that's a sign right there. It's got water stain. Mm -hmm. That means this sink over here on this side has been, uh, been leaking a little bit. That's okay. We'll get it all fixed while we're in here. It's really hot and muggy right now. The humidity is really high. I think it's about 90 degrees in central Texas. I have all the doors and windows and everything open so that I can breathe. You know, I do not know what this next thing is. I think I used it one time about four years ago to heat up a, a ham. Because I didn't know how to cook in it. It's called a instant pot. This is actually Paul's. He didn't have a place to take it to. So I guess I'll drop this back off with him when I see him. Yeah. It's kind of heavy. Oh. It's an electric pressure cooker. Maybe I should learn how to use it, you think? Brand new. We're going to put this underneath this drain. We're going to open the drain in here and um, see if it needs to be cleaned out. See if maybe that's why we have a little bit of leak. And it could just be that it just needs to be tightened up. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the part that I just took apart and washed. And you can see my steady drip without even supplying water to it. I'm going to put this little bucket down there to catch it. But you see what I did. I cross threaded that. This is not straight at all. Mm -mm. So we'll back that up. Straighten it out. It's relatively clean down here. See that roach? Do you see it? Do you see it right there? That little monster? There he is. There he is. That's what we're searching for down here. Uh-huh. There he is, all right. All right, Nick. Where's he going to go? Where's he going to go? All right. Over here is the second sink. There's no water issues over here at all. Just some old dirt I need to clean out which I'll do that that white there on the bottom is uh, that oxyclean that uh, burst and thing about it is it burst up here on the top shelf because it was sitting way back there in the back but that's where it fell to you know where I bet a lot of these uh, roaches are right there underneath that carpet what y'all say we pull this carpet out well, the carpet is definitely coming out. I don't know that it's a project I want to do today. Up here is the furnace. These, of course, are obvious ducks. That's the intake right there. Oh, look, there's a mouse trap. Hmm. Y'all see anything in it? I don't know if I should even look, should I? I guess I need to dig that out of there. Yep, yep, yep. All right, fixed. Shall we turn the water on? It doesn't look straight, does it? Mm -mm. I can't reach the water. I'll just pour it from the wash bucket in there. It went on down. Mm -hmm. Sure did. 
I know I should clean out this pea trap right there, but that just looks like more than I want to get into right now. Ooh, nasty. Yep, yep, yep. I just do not want to get into that. Okay, I'm going to get the vacuum cleaner out. Oh, there's a spider web too, right down there. I'm going to get in here with the vacuum cleaner and vacuum up all that little debris. And then we're going to wipe everything down really, really good. And uh, spray it down, see if we can't kill some roaches. I was absolutely certain that underneath this carpet was going to be my roach infestation. And to my surprise, 26 years of under-counter storage, it's pretty clean. It was bridging this little gap there. So now I have to be really cautious to make sure that I don't put something in that that's going to interfere with my plumbing. But those are the water lines. And here's where the water lines are coming in. So if you ever want to turn the water on or off, there's where it is right there yep well that's okay because the carpet's got to come out anyway and there's no need to have the carpet underneath this counter so it'll be easier to clean mm -hmm. i also wanted to see what the subfloor was like to see if it was compromised in any way it seems to be fine but i need something to cut that piece of carpet right over there i had a pair of scissors in my hands of course, I'm probably sitting on them. That's how it always works out. I lose more tools that way. There we go. This is not rot. That's just stained. It's a little damp. And that is obviously coming from right up there where you see that blackness on the pipes. That right there is a, a leak from the sink. So we will be correcting that. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Now that I've gotten down under here and I can see what the sink looks like. Let me get closer. I am going to be putting a new sink in. So that's one type tube, and that's another tube. And the sink does have a center hole. So I could use a center pipe. Is this moist? Is this moist right here? Well, actually I did feel a little bit of moisture coming out. Do you see anything? Like any project that I do, it starts into something else. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. I took this cosmetic panel off to look up into the wheel well, trying to see if there's any compromise to the substructure, rot or anything like that. And to see if I can find that nest of uh, roaches. Nothing. This is the panel that I had removed. You see how simple? It's nothing but a thin sheet of Luan. A little piece of paneling. Stapled in with the tiniest of staples too. But you see, they cover that up because it blocks your eye from seeing what's in there. It's just cosmetic. So once you get past the idea that this stuff is cosmetic, you can get in here and get it fixed. Yeah, you sure can. I did not buy new glasses in Algodonas and I cannot see worth the dam. But you see that little monster sitting right there? He's fixing to die.
y'all think about that. You see them moving around now? That may not be the nest, but it is a nest. Look right there. A little monster. Well, that's the furnace from this side. But guess what? I pissed a few more off. You see that one right? Whoops, he just went around the... No, yeah, he went around the edge. But that's okay. I had already sprayed him. And I think what I had done is I pissed some of them off by spraying right up here under the bottom of the range. You see that there is the oven bob. There's another one. These suckers on this side are big. Yeah. So, yep. Make me not want to cook anything in that oven for a little while, huh? Well, we're going to try. You can see the spray. Where I sprayed there on the thing. I want to try to get the angle right to get up in underneath that stove. Now, I have already sprayed the top of the stove and down the sides from the top. I just had not gotten into the bottom panel yet. So, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Welcome to Roachville. My Rolling Roach Hotel. I want to complain. But I know better than to complain because it's just the way things are. Our industries, our companies, that are all based on commerce, getting you to buy more, to consume more. It's proven today. This is the wrong product. It says right here, kills ants, spiders, roaches, and flies. No lingering odor, indoor and outdoor. It says it's a defense system. Attack bugs. But if you look at this, it's just the top one that's highlighted. So this is the attack bugs. The second one is to control bugs. And the third one is to prevent bugs. So after I've used this can, saturating everything over there, thinking that I was building a barrier, I was not. This is designed to kill the bugs on contact at that moment when you see them. When they crawl across the floor or like when they were crawling out of the little electrical thing, I could kill them on contact. So I wasted the rest of the can saturating all of the inside counters down with it. Mm -hmm. That did nothing. You know why? Because I needed another product to actually get in there and to bait it. And then apparently I need a third product to prevent the bugs from coming in in the first place. It's all on the back label. Mm -hmm. All on the back label. So you can't buy one product to get it all done. So I guess next week I will have to go back into town again and this time, get the products that I could use. No big deal. I was going to buy stuff yesterday, and I elected not to. Mm. Oh, spooky. I'm so sorry. Thank you all so much for being with me today. I'm not going to give you an aftershot of the place because it's a wreck. But we chased some bugs. Y'all have a good one. Come back and see me and we'll see what other projects we can get into. Mm-hmm. Hmm?